All right, so uh, word of warning leading into this one. This diatribe is going to include gratuitous references to sports. It's not about sports. It doesn't require any prior knowledge of any sport, but it does acknowledge the existence of sports repeatedly. And based on my inbox, that's a bridge too far for some of you. So if that's the case for you personally, you're going to want to skip ahead like five minutes or so, maybe make some internally clever comment about sports ball and move on to the headlines. Okay, so anyway, as many of you know, I'm a fan of the comically terrible NFL team in Jacksonville. And and it's not like an ironic thing or a rooting for the underdog default that I have or whatever. I'm just, I'm genuinely a fan of the team and have been so long that I can remember a time when they were good. And for those of you who aren't familiar with American football, I should explain that that was a long fucking time ago. They were the worst team in the league last year and the year before that. They have won four games in the last two seasons combined. Okay, to be fair, none of that is relevant to the diatribe. You just When you start off with the premise, I'm a Jaguars fan, you kind of have to explain it or the NFL fans will have questions. Anyway, so last Sunday, I'm watching them play the Eagles and they're actually looking really good. Uh, by the end of the first quarter, they're up 14-0 against the only undefeated team in the league. And, and, and then they reminded their fans that they are, in fact, still the Jaguars. Uh, so their quarterback went on to turn the ball over five times and they lose the game by eight points. But I didn't get to see all the sucky parts. Because I had to work. We, we were recording a get ahead of God Awful Movies episode that afternoon. And the only time we could do it was right in the middle of that game. So I left with my team up 14 nothing, And then I watched them fall apart via increasingly distressing score updates on my phone. Now, you might be tempted to think that a guy who's rooted for the laughing stock of the NFL for 20 some odd years is used to that kind of thing. But not so much. Right. The Jaguars, generally speaking, don't have leads to blow. They're not a get your hopes up team and disappoint you. That's the that's the Lions. They're more of a we always sucked. So why would you bother hoping team? So in order to calibrate my mood as they were losing this game, I had to go all the way back to when they were good. And that means with the exception of a weird ass blip in the 2017, 2018 season, going back to the turn of the goddamn century. And man, let me tell you, more than anything, remembering what it was like to watch a Jags game in 1999 forced me to remember how much different it was to watch football back when I was a woo-infused, superstitious, conspiracy theorist idiot. See, back then, I subscribed... Jesus, this is so embarrassing to admit. I subscribed to that poorly thought-out, postmodernist, pseudo-solipsistic idea that things are as real as you believe them to be, right? Like, if you believe in magic enough, it becomes real in your own experience. And yes, there are a billion ways to poke century-sized holes in that worldview, but it was the only one that you could shove all the woo beliefs of your friends into without offending anybody in the drum circle, so it's what I had. And because of the profound arrogance that undergirds that philosophy, I also had to believe that Jaguars game was, to some extent, my own mental construct. Therefore, if they lost, it was because I did something wrong. Now, to be clear, I I'm probably putting more mental energy into crafting a coherent explanation of that worldview than I ever put into the worldview itself, okay? Or, or at least than I ever did until I started talking myself out of it. If you'd asked me at the time, I'm sure I would have offered you contradictory platitudes that sound really wise when you're on mushrooms and nothing else, or maybe a bong hit. But the, the, the key to holding such an absurd perspective, though, is to never put a whole lot of mental energy into defining it. But the end result is the same. I still felt like my fucking psychic energy, for lack of a better term, affected the outcome of the game. Of course, if this was just some weird idiosyncrasy, I wouldn't bother writing a whole diatribe about it, but there are a lot of lucky socks in this world, right? A lot of us had, and some of us no doubt still have, a plethora of superstitions, and nothing brings them out quite like a sporting event, right? Fertile ground. It's, it's a situation you have absolutely no control over, and yet you still have an emotional investment in the outcome. That makes it a perfect place to grow bullshit. Like, I, I love to say that I always knew my bullshit was bullshit, but when I look back on it, I really did feel in my heart of hearts that the Jaguars played better when I was watching them play, and therefore I had to watch them play, right? Especially, I had to watch them play. Fuck, do I wish I could slap young me. I had to watch him play wearing my lucky Jaguars baseball cap. And, and here's the thing that you might not understand if you were never an idiot or a sports fan. 
feel free to make your own joke about how those things are synonymous. This shit leads to genuine anxiety. Like, I stressed the fuck out about games I had no control over back then. I had to work during the most important game in Jaguars history, the uh, 1999 season AFC Championship game against the Titans, obviously. And for years, I thought my failure to secure a day off cost us our shot at the Super Bowl. But now, from the perspective of a rationalist, I know it was really just the referee's inability to properly call an illegal forward lateral in the divisional round. All right, sorry, one joke that requires football knowledge. I'm done, I'm done. But honestly, the whole time I was watching those score updates ding their way into my phone, I couldn't help but reflect on the pit that wasn't in my stomach. And, and sure, maybe some of that is just being calloused by decades of rooting for a bottom tier team. But a lot of it is the fact that I'm no longer shackled by superstition. I'm no longer tied to the arrogant stupidity of neo-paganism. And honestly, I'd list the lack of superstitious anxiety as the number one benefit of rationalism if it wasn't for the fact that I also used to genuinely fear alien abduction. Fuck, this diatribe started with an admission that I'm a Jaguars fan and just got more embarrassing from there. That's actually kind of impressive.